Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to transfer your uh, Samsung uh, S10, uh, either your S10e, S10 or your S10 uh, Plus or, or any other Android uh, phone that you want to transfer to your either your Windows PC or your uh, Apple uh, MacBook or your iMacs so let's go ahead and uh, turn on your phone real quick. Oops, I was uh, charging my phone. So anyway, this is one. This is the new and latest uh, Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, and the one that I got is the ceramic uh, black uh, model. It comes with the screen protector already. I'm not sure if it's. A, it looks like a plastic one. I'm not sure, maybe it's like a super thin uh, glass. So it's a swipe to unlock. So I guess uh, when you restart your phone, it won't recognize your face at all. Okay, so if you just uh, plug in your phone to your uh, USB port, I got this uh, data cable right here. So connect connect to your USB port. And uh, if you just uh, plug in, your computer would not recognize it. Let me check out. Let me open my Android file uh, transfer. So you gotta allow access to your phone data. You gotta click on allow. Press OK. So I gotta unplug it and plug it back in again. Maybe you gotta hit OK first on my computer. Then click on allow. Or well, sometimes uh, vice versa. All right, there you go. So you, all you need to do is just uh, normally all your files is under uh, DCM. By the way, daylight saving time is uh, starts uh, tomorrow. So that means we gotta spring uh, forward. So we're gonna lose an extra hour. So let's go under my DCIM file, and then over here, normally your uh, video and your uh, photos under camera, unless you did a screenshots. So this one screenshots that I did, and all you need to do is just. Uh, Drag it and then click on to whatever folder. Normally I put it under my YouTube folder, so I'm just gonna put it over there. And then I could hit the back button right here and then uh, go to my uh, camera. And here are all the videos, pictures under JPEG file. The video is under uh, MP4, okay? So with the Samsung Galaxy uh, S10, E, S10, and uh, S10 Plus, it is uh, pretty simple and easy. Normally, I thought you had to go to like a uh, under uh, setting. Uh, 
and then you're gonna click on uh, about phone software information and normally you had to click on build number in order to go to uh, developer uh, then you gotta enter the code my pin number developer mode has been turned on so I guess uh, with this uh, new and latest uh, Galaxy S series you don't need to do that anymore let me go to C software go back so as you can see right now you, you have the developers uh, options uh, right here let me see if that USB is enabled. So apparently the USB debugging is not enabled, but it's allowing me to uh, transfer files uh, back and forth. So normally you gotta turn this on. So allow USB debugging. See, it says that use it to copy data between your computer and your device. Install app on your device without notification and relog the data. I'm going to just uh, press OK. So I'm going to click on Allow. So I, the company's RSA key fingerprint is... So uh, I could click on always allow onto this computer and press OK. So if you did that, you probably need to plug and unplug it again. So there's viewers saying that they, it doesn't work. So you, you had to play around, either uh, hit the OK on your computer first. If you hit it on your phone, allow, and then you hit OK on your computer. If that doesn't work, then try to do vice versa. OK, the other way around. I'm going to press OK on my computer first, and then click on allow. So again, it's uh, reading my phones. Uh, right now, all these are the files under my uh, Samsung Galaxy uh, S10 Plus. So yeah, be sure to uh, hit that build number for seven times. I mean, tap it uh, seven times in order to get into developer uh, mode. Okay, so since I already turned it on, it's not gonna allow me to turn it on again. Okay, hopefully uh, you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification, or drop me in the comments on below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Like always, peace. <laughs>